At the top of Villa Rica Volcano, Dr. Emma Liu and her team are about to fly the latest drone technology into one of the most extreme places on Earth, a crater with an open lava lake. The drone is sniffing the air for clues that could help forecast an eruption. Emma hopes to track how much sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide is being released. Battery 22.35. Fresh magma contains more CO2, so a high amount of it would indicate the arrival of new magma from deep below into the chamber, which could signal an imminent eruption. They must get low into the crater before the gases disperse in the atmosphere. But the heat and turbulence from the boiling lava could cause the drone to crash at any moment. So you happy with the position? Happy with position. Right now it's collecting what the passive gas is coming off the lava lake, and then when we see the bubble, we see whether the gas composition changes. Now we just need a bubble burst. Okay, here's a nice plume coming through. You can tell instantly that the change in the, the sound of the motors, you can tell when it hits the turbulence, and instantly I see a spike in sulfur dioxide. Whoa! <laughs> That's a good number. That's a very good number. They've done it. They have managed to sample the volcanic gases coming off the lava lake. Okay. Okay, returning. Disarmed. Disarmed. Okay. Yes! Pegel is safe. We can move around a bit more now. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Success at last. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> oh my God, we've been waiting a year for this. <laughs> so this is the first time that a high resolution multi-gas instrument, so it's measuring multiple different gases, uh, has successfully flown on a drone, measured and returned home safe. Emma and her team now have a powerful new tool to help unravel the mysteries of volcanoes and forecast the next eruption. Today, Villarica is stable, but it has erupted before and it will erupt again. The action starts deep underground where magma rich in gases rises at a fearsome speed. Inside the magma, the gas bubbles begin to expand and the pressure in the magma chamber increases until finally the magma bursts through the crater floor in a huge explosion. Powered by the expansion of gases, molten rock would blast out of the volcano. Lava would stream down the slopes, a force of nature nothing can stop. On our experimental V-Day, Villarica won't be alone. There are around 900 arc volcanoes just like it, all around the edge of the Pacific, which, like Villarica, are created by the Pacific Ocean Plate sinking beneath the surrounding American and Asian continents. This is known as the Ring of Fire. On the morning of V-Day, they are our second wave of eruptions exploding magma around the world.